All right. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my Monday morning rant for Monday, the 28th of December. I uh, hope everyone had a good Christmas. Um, we had a small gathering because in Sydney, we had restrictions of 10 people, no more. And uh, that meant some of my family members couldn't come. But we had um, a big Indo feast at my sister's place. And I got pretty heavily into the Christmas spirits, being vodka and gin. And I drink my vodka straight. Uh, I didn't even drink it with ice. And I got pretty fucking trashed to a point where when I came home, I smoked a cigarette and I vomited. And mission accomplished. Um, I haven't had a good vomit in a really long time. So that felt... Um, I felt alive. That was good. Um, and I got toys for Christmas, which is really funny, right? Like, mum bought me Thunderbird 2, which is super cool because she knows I used to get up at 6 in the morning to watch Thunderbirds every morning before school. And uh, Thunderbird 2 was my favorite because it's got Thunderbird 4 inside it and visually my favorite too. And uh, we just had a good laugh about that. 45 years old, and I'm still getting toys for Christmas. I'm a big kid for life, and I love it. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but I love it. And um, in other news, um, the Zen Garage website is down. And uh, multiple factors. Um, my bank sent me, a, sent me a new credit card maybe a month ago or something like that. And... Uh, I just decided to not pay shit off and just save money. And you know, when you have a credit card, you subscribe to all these services and then eventually, well, I, in my case, I wasn't using stuff. So I just st started finding money in my account and uh, whatever services they were, I stopped paying them because uh, the direct debit it would have broken. And I suppose web hosting was one of them. <laughs> so um, I went through the ringer with support and finally managed to convince them that I am who I am and I have a new credit card and I want to pay my bills. And um, all the websites went back up except for Zen Garage. So something's broken. Um, my web developer is MIA at the moment, which is fair enough. And uh, everything seems to be working except for the Zen Garage website. Um, but the fact is that I'm paying like 150 US a month uh, with this hosting plan because the forums take up a lot of space and traffic. And they used to, you know, the forums used to cost me a shit ton more money than that because uh, I'd break the threshold every month. But the honest fact is, is that I'm not making any money anymore off the forums. The advertising is not working because no one's visiting the forums anymore. And it's just a sign of the times, right? Like I have uh, really tried to keep my websites going all these years because they're my sites and I can post whatever I like on them. And it's not somebody else's platform where, you know, I get banned on Facebook for posting shit. I get banned on Instagram for posting shit get shadow banned on Twitter for posting shit, but you can post whatever you like on your website. So I've always thought the best thing to do is to have your own website so that if all the other shit goes down, you still have your own platform. But uh, these days, I don't think anyone visits websites anymore. I don't think people visit forums anymore. It's, I mean, I know people don't visit the forum anymore. Uh, they might visit it, but they don't log in. They don't, they might use it as uh, to search for information, but there's not much being um, put into the forums anymore these days. No one's, no one's using them. I think people are just using social media now. Um, maybe, you know, they're using Reddit. Um, they're using Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And, you know, it makes me question whether websites are worth running anymore these days. So 
part of me wants to just let it go. Um, it was really hard to let the Australian in front go, my design community. Like when we shut that website down, it really hurt. And I'm really proud of what we did all those years. But it's sad now that there's no website there anymore. Um, and I'm still sad about it. So I know that if the Zen Garage website goes, there's a whole lot of content on there. And it's still nice to post to it. But the honest truth is only a handful of people check out the content that we do post on there. Like Sam, Sam Law still contributes a fair bit. Uh, he goes out to car meets and stuff and shoots and car events and, and uploads big blog posts. Um, and I post everything that I do with these podcasts and stuff on there every week. But definitely more people are checking out the podcast through Spotify and iTunes and uh, YouTube than actually checking them out on the website. So part of me thinks I might let it go. Like the Zen shop is still up, but um, that's with Shopify. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm, 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 uh, right now I'm thinking maybe to shut down the JDMST forums, shut down the VW Golf forums, shut down the Zen Garage website, maybe redirect the URL to the shop and um, maybe go with our websites in 2021. Um, I think when I can talk to my developer about it, I'll have a meeting with him and have a, a solid discussion about it. Um, it would save me a whole lot of money per month and I don't think too many people will miss it or if they miss it, well, it's more of a celebration of what was. Um, and I'll just have to deal with it that way. Um, but yeah, I, I just think it's um, interesting. Like from my perspective, I was around when websites first started and the dot-com boom happened. And, you know, we were on um, 14.4 dial-up modems back then. And... Uh, I was designing websites for 640 by 480 resolution. And, you know, websites, website design back then was just so exciting, man. It was unlike any other medium. There were no rules, you know, there was no left hand navigation or top navigation. Um, we made we made such interesting websites back then. You know, you, you scroll left and everything scrolled right. Uh, you scroll down and everything scrolled up and um, navigation was not defined. It, not, there were no rules. So you, you literally were playing with what a website could look like and could work like. And uh, there was Macromedia Flash and that made website design even more interesting. It was so entertaining. It was almost like websites were like mini movies um, and you can have a journey through a website. Uh, you can legit have an amazing experience where these days websites are mostly template driven, right? Like most people's websites look the same and we all know how to operate them because the navigation's at the top or on the left and, um, you know, fonts are a particular size and uh, they, all, they all basically look the same these days. So the magic out of web design's gone, gone a long time ago. And, you know, in my opinion, that's almost like the downfall of websites. It's like you could do something so creative and so fun with them, but no one does or hardly anyone does. So the death of print is something that I went through. David Carson, this amazing typographer, uh, released a book at some point that was called uh, The End of Print. And it was awesome. Like he used to work for Raygun magazine, which is a pretty cool uh, music mag, mag that I used to buy at the news agent. And like, there was one particular interview with a band that he didn't like. And he, and he put the whole interview in uh, wingdings, like a font that is not a font, just a whole lot of characters. And, you know, he would, flip fonts upside down on purpose. Even the title on the magazine would be upside down on purpose or um, not legible. And 
his book was awesome in that like it was a time where the web was so strong that print was dying it was obvious that people weren't buying print so much and you know i used to love going to the news agent like i look at the news agent as like a reflection of the world like whatever you're into in life there's a magazine for it so you know while i used to probably make a beeline for like tech and design and creative magazines somebody else might make a beeline for horse magazines or um fashion magazines or whatever it is you're into in life it's in a news agent so i still love going to the news agent every month and just picking out like five or ten magazines to take home and i stopped doing that a long time ago and it's probably because of the web right like i think a lot of people stopped buying magazines because of the internet and uh yeah i think where it was the end of print probably in the mid 2000s early 2000s now in 2020 i feel like it's the end of the web it's end of the it's end the end of websites websites are over it's done and a lot of these platforms that are owned by somebody else are what people seem to be contributing to and it's kind of sad because that information that used to live on forums and stuff it's searchable whereas someone asking a question looking for answers on facebook they get those answers potentially but those answers aren't searchable you're not going to find them you know you're not you're helping people out in the moment and within a few days it's so far down the page that no one's going to scroll down and find it so you know maybe it's collectively making everyone dumber because you can't find the information you're looking for quickly enough so instead you just go and ask everyone anyway rather than doing the research using the search tools that you're given uh, google's pretty fucking amazing right so rather than using the search bar to find your answers you just ask instead it's quicker it's more immediate um so yeah the death of the website could be the situation and um i might be jumping on that bandwagon and getting rid of all the websites that i own that are you know costing me this 150 us a month to run and if no one's checking them out anyway then maybe it's time to let them go um and yeah so happy new years to everyone um i was talking to my cousin Jess at uh Christmas about organizing a little party. I used to have huge New Year's Eve parties at my place. 50 plus people. So much tragedy and dramas. Such good fun. Lots of laughter, lots of tears. Uh I would love to host a party again, but maybe this year is not the right year. I've only got a few days to organize one anyway and I could only probably have 10 people which is which would be pretty cool actually just to talk shit all night with some interesting human beings but I don't think it's going to happen but um I am going to get together with Viv later today and we will probably do a New Year's Eve themed shoot just for her only fans and her Patreon and my Patreon um So that'll be fun and that'll probably wrap up my year. I was meant to shoot uh with a new model yesterday. She's an Aboriginal girl which is super fucking cool. I've never shot an Aboriginal girl before. I was super psyched about it, but uh she didn't feel too well yesterday. So uh we're postponing that and probably most likely postponing that till New Year, which is all good. Um shit happens. So Yeah, I hope you guys have a good New Year's. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do nothing. I don't even think I can watch the fireworks because I don't have television unless it's being streamed on YouTube somewhere. Um I don't think I've watched the fireworks in years anyway. But hey, maybe it's maybe it's time. Maybe I'll just be cheesy and and do nothing and just uh watch the fireworks on TV. <laughs> um Yeah, so whatever you guys are doing, I hope you have fun. Uh 
maybe get trashed because why not? And uh, I shall catch you guys in the new year, right? It's the last Monday morning rant for 2020. So have a good one, guys. I'll see you around. Bye.